we created the specimen. After that, we add it to the box, to the record, and it will be stored there. Uh, the, the next step is to uh, register the brain, which is derived from the specimen. And this concept of derivation of one thing from another is uh, central in uh, our API here. You have to specify who was the uh, person who performed the um, sampling and what was his role. And for every step, we have this person and role pairs and what the protocol was, so uh, what kind of uh, methods were used to derive. So we go like that, we derive after that the slice from the brain, and we start registering actually the files. So this file, the first file is uh, the file with the black and white picture, the EM stack, and uh, you have to specify where is it located, for now, we just use any URI, but in the future, it will use the document service. And what's my, it's my type. But of course, you need to specify what kind of information is in the file. Uh, so information like what's the brain regions are captured in this file, who it was created by, what's the categories uh, of the information. So what does it talks about? So it's all ontological tag so to say, and uh, again, what it was derived from. So it's the representation of this slice. We add it. The next step is the transformation. So we turn one uh, piece of data into another piece of data. So it's like the analysis part, which uh, has to be performed with uh, some kind of software. We specify this step as well. So after we finish with the uh, specification of all that, there is uh, one more class which is called the model here. Mm, and it's basically uh, similar to the uh, data set. It has the file inside and it has all the metadata about the file. So in the end, we add all of that to the registration record and it will look like that and it will correspond to this standard JSON schema that I've shown before. Uh, you can check for the errors and save it and after that submit it to the Knowledge Graph REST API. So if something uh, goes wrong, so for example, you specify the, the term which doesn't exist in the ontology. So here, for example, I created a mouse and there is no such sex which is called no such sex exists you will be presented with some uh, uh, exceptions and you can correct yourself. So on top of this API, we're planning to create more higher level APIs. So for example, if you often register the data in forms of uh, lists of, or tables, we will help to create the parsers, which will do this job and use this low level API. So if you want to try it, if you want me to help you um, to get accustomed with this, you can tell me. And uh, the code is available on our DVT code git. So please come to me and we can uh, start you know, adjusting to your specific needs. So thank you very much. Thank you.